Okay, so I'm at the Chicago Auto Show with Jaguar and Hot Wheels, representing Hot Wheels, and uh, trying to find McDonald's. Tell you what, aha, there it is. You know, y'all know I don't like Starbucks, so uh, I gotta get my coffee somehow. And I do like McDonald's coffee, I really, really do. So, go get me an egg and muffin, some McDonald's coffee, and I'm gonna start my day. And I'll tell you what, we got one heck of a day planned. So, stick around, check it out. We'll see you guys real soon. Okay, so I'm still wandering around the uh, convention center, and I still can't find the McDonald's. Oh, there's, and there's so many signs. There we go. I see it right over there. All right, going to get my coffee. Had to show my ID. Got any ID? Bell Wood. But uh, yeah, we are here at the Chicago Auto Show, world's largest auto show. And uh, holy moly. All right, we're gonna have to take a... Now I know I'm here with Jaguar today, but, and you guys know how I feel about Fords. But that one, that one I would drive. Most definitely take that bugger for a ride, man. Oh, lots of lots of bright lights. Looks like uh, looks like Vegas, but with hot rods. Pretty cool. A lot of people doing their doing their photo thing here, and uh, I talk about lights. Man, that is so bright. Wow. Crazy. All right. Here's all the Ford performance stuff for you uh, for you Ford guys. And uh, wow, man, there's a big Ford presence here. All right, I know. It's the only time you're gonna see me with some Ford stuff around. But uh, yeah. Ford performance put a Chevy motor in it and uh, that's how you go fast you guys know that right all them wheel standing Ford Mustangs you see all got Chevrolet power in them so but uh, yeah getting there little by little man it's a long walk I'll tell you what whoa but uh, oh look at that Get yourself a motorcycle and a truck all in one deal. Man, I gotta get out of here. I'm in the Ford section. No. Definitely wrong side of town. Did you ever notice? You kind of figure out you're in the bad side of town at the wrong time. Well, that's me. Chevrolet guy in the Ford section. So, yeah, we gotta get out of here, man. Getting there. Little by little. Oh yeah, there's a Dodge side. Oh, 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 baby. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Here we go. Man, check it out. Yeah, I'd be driving one of them. Oh yeah. I got a picture of Goldberg up there. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Check oh, it out. But it was just an extra thing. <laughs> oh yeah. This board lit up like a Christmas tree. Nice. Definitely take that silver one home. Oh. 
dig a net. Heading back to the Jaguar section. And uh, see all the cars behind me there. Got some Jeeps over there. Uh oh. I think I'm lost. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, isn't that fair? They got some coffee on their own, huh? Probably some Starbucks, though. Don't want any of that. Walking and walking and walking. Speaking of walking and walker, you know, if we had a little more time, my buddy Walker would be here. It was only two, three hours away. This was a last minute thing. Kept springing, springing all these extras on me here. Oh yeah, I'm lost, most definitely lost. But uh, find our way. We're getting there. Oh, I see an AC Cobra. So that is kind of where we're supposed to be. Hot rods, hot wheels. And, uh, oh yeah, there's Jaguar. And we got a press conference today. So, that's everybody that makes it happen behind the scenes. I'm gonna check that out, see that later. There's Jaguar. I can't take you in any farther than where we're at because it's all top secret until this afternoon. All right, so you guys stick around. Dominic. Um, next part of our program, I'm sure you all noticed to uh, my left, to your right, the rather elaborate Hot Wheels track we've built here. And it was also featured in the video we showed before. And I think everyone remembers uh, as young kids, like Dominic mentioned, being an automotive enthusiast and looking forward to a, maybe a career in it in the future. Um, most young automotive enthusiasts have played with Hot Wheels cars as a youngster, played with the tracks. And Jaguar is committed to de develop the next generation of automotive engineers and automotive enthusiasts. And so we came up with a fun little way to make our contribution. And that is that we're announcing the Jaguar and Hot Wheels Ultimate Track Challenge. We're putting a contest out there for universities and colleges from across North America to compete, to build a more complex, more challenging, more record-breaking Hot Wheels track than the one that we've done right here. And for the school that gets selected for the Ultimate Track, we'll make a donation of $50,000 to their automotive engineering scholarship program or just engineering scholarship program. 
We wanted to set the benchmark a little bit and show how it's done, so we built our own track here today, and along the way we set our Guinness record for the most um, loops in a row unassisted, and we uh, achieved that last night when we were setting up. You can see we're having a little bit of fun at Jaguar and we want to support others who want to uh, explore their passions for automobiles. So the rules of the Ultimate Track Challenge are fairly simple. University or college engineering program anywhere in the United States and Canada, raise their partner with a local Jaguar retailer in their community, build, design, create their own ultimate track, more complex, more challenging, more loops, faster than the track that we built. Have one Hot Wheels car complete the track without falling off, which I assure you is not easy. Video it, submit it to us. We, along with Hot Wheels and Guinness, will evaluate the results and we'll pick a winner and make a donation of $50,000 to that university scholarship program for engineering students. Now we have some uh, students here today who've already raised their hand to compete in this contest, the Illinois Institute of Technology. A couple of young folks over there, they're down for it. They're going to partner with Jaguar Land Rover Orland Park here in Chicago and be the first group to, uh, to raise their hand and compete in the project. And we're hoping that other schools and engineering programs across the country want to have a little bit of fun, want to explore their automotive passions and participate. Uh, we'll be releasing the full details of the Ultimate Track Challenge on JaguarUSA.com in the coming days, and we look forward to